What is up? Need for Speed Racers. It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. They fixed Ox. I never thought the day would come. I want to explain to you guys how that actually came to pass because I know the insides and I need to give some credit where credit is due. First and foremost to the developers for actually listening to us, the community, and fixing something we've been shouting about for a while. But it took one very special individual doing nothing short of a <laughs> essay with pictures and descriptions and a decent write-up. And I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Uh, that got sent to someone that is within EA and they gave attention to it, communicated with that particular individual and basically said, yeah, we're gonna do it in this next patch. So when I woke up and was like, wow, I've got eight gigabytes to download, I wasn't sure what that was gonna entail. So let me bring you the patch notes first. We'll discuss a couple of the little changes. I'm gonna show you the essay that actually got the aux fixed. Shout out to my man Siwoo who actually did the work and the legwork on that. Apparently they don't watch the videos or listen to us bitch on stream, but if you write it up and you can explain with <laughs> examples and pictures they do listen so let's get into it right now and go for it, you guys uh, we're gonna touch on the patch notes I've got those in front of us it's a small quality of life but it's the biggest quality of life for us hardcore racers and so they got a lot of great feedback on the PvP mode that's awesome we'll see what they do with that um, I'm, I'm going to pass judgment when I actually get into it and dig into it and we'll see how that goes so not there yet but they have made it to where you're going back to the multiplayer garage after you leave pvp that saves you a step saves you some loading screens bouncing around i think that's a great thing for all of us so shout out to those guys for actually doing that i, I think that's a very good implementation um with the patch 6.1.0 the key fixes allows allows players to go into the multiplayer garage like i discussed cool all nitrous auxiliary items Stop working if the player changes vehicles during playlists or if they leave the server and rejoin. That is resolved, guys. That is resolved. And I'm going to show you the write-up. I'm going to give a shout-out to Siwoo, our man. He is part of Team Copium. He is an OG in the competitive Need for Speed le like leagues and stuff like that and on different teams. And he definitely put in the time. And It's all in who you know. And he knows somebody. And so... Regardless of our videos and bitching and what I've done on the channel, and I've been very critical of EA and Criterion in this case, uh, I'm super happy to have my foot in my mouth and be like, wow, they actually did fix it. So the state of Need for Speed is getting better, and I'm thankful for it. So great job, you guys. Um, flickering issue, present in game, okay, I don't know. Improve the idle kick for players not progressing in PvP. I think that's great. I hate that people were going into PvP and just sitting trying to collect XP. If you're not going to race, get the fuck out. Straight up. So, super happy that they've got that going. Uh, fixed issues a player could use their own vehicle in a playlist that should only be loners. Okay. I, I don't ever want to play this where it's in loners, but that's my personal thing. Everybody likes... Not everybody likes just stock cars. Some of us do. So, if you do, that's cool. Story mode stuff, great. Don't know. Underglows unlocked through speed pass were not visible on their server. That's unique. Fixed issue where PvP playlists would show as B instead of the correct tier. That's actually really good because that caught me a couple times. I was like, oh, it's B class. I don't want that. And then we're picking A class cars or A plus. So that was unique. Uh, where users can navigate around the menus and find game when in the find game menu. So. That was a very specific glitch that didn't affect a ton of people, but you would actually go into like finding game and there was other, it it was messed up. So I'm glad that they did fix that. These guys are listening. It's it's like they've really done a 180. Fix the camera issue, uh, would cause players camera around other cars to be close behind. Um, so like what you could do is you could just pull right up to somebody and then the camera would get all messed up because there wasn't a person there. And it was kind of, um, an intentional thing we could do to people because you you knew that if you got up next to somebody you would screw up their stuff and so that was a lot of fun but regardless regardless uh that's the pack notes honestly the big things is back to the multiplayer garage and the auxiliaries so as promised what i want to show you guys is my man siwoo he is a member of the coordinate crew 
member of Team Copium. He is the founding member of that team that I was on. Um, still a member of the team, we just don't really race because there's no league. But that's SlyQT, Siwoo, Seike, Hex, and myself in no specific order because everybody's got a very valuable part to play in that team where we swept the Need for Speed League. Uh, he was the one that put us together and got that going. He, he wrote this up. This is a PDF that he created. And so it's like literally if I was in high school and I was writing a report to try to get somebody to fix something or sending this to my senator, it's really good. But it's all essentially just Dear Criterion, the Ox performance parts and cars have not been working correctly since the release of the game and in our opinion it's a vital component a uh, dude just goes through and he lines it out he does a comparison on what they look like when they're not equipped how it shows they are equipped but how then they don't work and he's got image you know 1.2 image 2.1 he shows a video on that uh, with a direct hyperlink right there i mean this is super super good stuff you guys but he wrote this up and he sent them to him and he's showing them how much you actually create and build with auxiliaries on and off. Very similar to in the video that I did, but it's in a very digestible six page format that these guys can read with links. And it's all in who you know. And so being an OG part of what has been developing with Need for Speed, he knew a person that knew a person or knew the person directly to reach out to. And I can't release who that is or how that relationship is because that's not how we do things here. But I do not want any other content creator, big or small, to act like they had a part of this repair. Because we know that some big content creators went to Criterion, were in the studio, were testing the new stuff before it released, and I know that they didn't have any part of this. I do know that this had a very big part to play, a very big role to play in that, because when Siwoo sent this and was in communication. He got direct feedback back on that. Hey, we're now aware of this. We are going to fix that. And then Siwoo was telling us, hey, we're, they're going to fix it. They're going to fix it. And so the last night on stream, we were calling him Scamwoo because we're like, no, they didn't fix it. They're not going to. He's like, no, just trust. Just trust. They're going to. Stop calling me Scamwoo. They're going to fix it. And lo and behold, today they did. And so big shout out to my man. This just goes to show, guys, sometimes when we bark on reddit or we make a youtube video or we make a facebook community post or whatever it might be the devs are not listening because there's a lot of uninformed people out there i'm sure you guys that watch my channel have seen other people's builds other people's comments on reddit or facebook and they're just out of touch with how the actual scene is at least in my opinion they're out of touch they think they're in touch but that's fine this goes to show that if you actually with respect put it in a very digestible form of content and get it to the right people the developers are listening and so i'm thankful to them i really am it's a wonderful deal auxiliaries work if you guys are casual you've never noticed they probably didn't work but go throw them on your cars now and make it go you're going to have twice as much blue nitrous as you've ever had in the game and so he at the end of it the conclusion like pros more skill expression i like this he used the word expression because they're all about expressing ourselves finding exciting what takes find new exciting ways to extend their grip and drift turns by additional blue nos and competitive enables a much wider variety of cars to be picked amongst other tiers um just great cons nil none there are no cons to fixing it and so thank you for your consideration in this matter it's just really cool that this got written out in the way that it did and i think that Honestly, if we as a community want fixes with our development teams that are working on the games that we have passion for, this is it. And so I felt the need to make this video because I have been hypercritical of this situation. I've talked a lot of shit. You guys know that. And when something is fixed, I want to make it very clear that I'm A, thankful for it, B, I recognize it, and C, I'm not too big of a man to say, hey, I thank you like uh, I, I was wrong I said they were never gonna fix it dude they fixed it we're out here um, it took a while to get it fixed but hey we're here now and so like I said earlier the developers have really done a 180 from where we were at in the first year of Need for Speed it kind of got progressively worse in my opinion with updates to some cars with nerfs to others with the direction they were going with link ups and stuff and then this year they're really like pvp 
we are just a stone's throw away from that being incredible. Uh, if they can allow us to get some clans and some teams and stuff going um, and join it up as a group of four to race another group of four, maybe some skill-based matchmaking in there, uh, there's a lot they can do with that and they will make this game stick a lot longer because as soon as you add the ability to get a rank system going, you make your game eternal <laughs> in some cases. Like it lasts a lot longer. A lot of people are going to show up for that. So it's great. Uh, and so I'm very thankful. Auxiliaries are working. Uh, the patch notes, there's not a lot more for us, but they are listening. Sometimes we just have to find out how to get their ear to where they're actually able to hear us. And so, will they actually watch this video? Probably not. But you guys are, and I want to make it abundantly clear that uh, they are trying, and I am happy with it. Is it perfect? No, but there are no perfect games. There's always something somewhere that could be changed to make somebody else happier, and that same person that would be happy would make somebody else unhappy because they don't like the change. So, as a the direction they're going, it's wonderful. That's it for me, guys. Billion Dollar Builds, we'll be back on it tomorrow. But, put the ox in your cars. Ignore everything I've said in previous videos where I'm like, it doesn't work, they don't care, because they do care, and they are listening. Shout out to my man Siwoo for putting this together and actually getting it in front of them. And I think it's really important that you guys see that that's how the Coordinate Crew does roll. We are very wide, we are very deep in a lot of different categories. And sometimes it's all in who you know. And we're directly affiliated with people that do know somebody that can get stuff done. So um, they are listening. We just have to present it in the right way. And I think that's wonderful. And I know that nobody else could show you kind of where we're at on this. And I wanted to put that out there for you guys so you know really where it's at. Everyone have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.